Water and irrigation are very important. Uh, here's where the irrigation tubes were plugged. Blueberries don't die all at once. Typically, when they get really dry, they start dying a, a branch at a time. Uh, when we look at soil water content, uh, we've got uh, saturated soil. When it holds all the water it can, it's at field capacity. As the plant starts pulling off water, we start getting into the available water. This is the 50% uh, available. This is the available water, and we're getting down here to the permanent wilting point where they won't come back if they get to that point. Uh, trickle irrigation, typically we put one trickle line in. We want an, ir an emitter on one side here when they're small and then one once they get a little larger. Uh, we've done some work with uh, micro sprinklers. We've got some growers that use those. Uh, I've done some work with an automated uh, pulsed irrigation system uh, and uh, that seems to work pretty well. It's fairly low cost. Instead of using uh, uh, tensiometers, it uses these watermark sensors that are buried in the soil. They give you a much better uh, uh, soil moisture reading. Uh, put them in about 12 inches from the base of the plant, and uh, uh, those work pretty well. They can, we can automate those. And uh, these are some recommended uh, levels for, uh, soil moisture levels for uh, uh, running these at and basically you just set the soil moisture level you want on here and this automates the system and it, uh, eight times during uh, the 24-hour period it queries the, the controller and says is it too wet or too too dry and if it's too dry it puts water on for about an hour and then shuts off so uh, something that uh, is uh, has some new capabilities one problem with the system is uh, once it's on it's on a solenoid, so the water's on all the time. So uh, if you get a leak in the line, you've got some trouble. Uh, you've got to, it's not that, you gotta keep up with things. Uh, Davies County, uh, uh, here's the water savings. Uh, we put in, we had a comparison between growers putting on water as they normally did in the pulse system. So in uh, uh, 2010, we saved 80,000 gallons. In 2011, we saved 256 gallons for this amount. In Bourbon County, we put a lot more water on than the grower did. We lost $186, but the next year, uh, he had a 1,500 yield increase on our pulsed irrigation system that he didn't on the ones where we, uh, he did it manually. So uh, 